What is up, YouTubians? Kudamalo here coming at you with another exciting video. Okay, so a lot of people ask me, how do you get eggs soft boiled or hard boiled, either way, medium boiled, without the shell sticking to the egg? So the, the biggest mistake most people make is that their water isn't boiling before they put the eggs in. That's the first biggest mistake. And the reason why is because if you put cold eggs into cold water and then bring it up to a boil, the lining inside the egg never has a chance to pull away from the shell. So that's one reason why you get the stickage. The next biggest mistake, mistake number two, is that most people uh, will put the salt in before the water has come to a boil. That's the second mistake. Uh, so I'm gonna show you this in real time. My water's up to a boil. It's 9.52 or so. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take, uh, this is kosher salt, but it could be any kind of salt, white salt, pink Himalayan salt, whatever. I'm gonna take my salt and just drizzle it in now that the water has come to a boil. You get a little bit of that foaming action going on right there. And then now I wanna put my eggs in one at a time. These just came out of the fridge. They're, it doesn't matter whether they're old or new. I've heard that story before, it makes no difference. But what I wanna do is take my eggs just one at a time <laughs> and just gently, gently place them into the boiling water so as not to crack the shell. And there's a reason for that, I'll explain to you in a second. So if I put my other egg in, right? Doing this with one hand, just show you how easy it is. And because my other hand's holding the phone to record. But anyways, I'm gonna put my egg in, trying not to crack the shell. Okay, so now it's 9.53. So in my honest opinion, the what's going on here is that as the cold egg goes into the hot water, all that pressure is building up inside the egg, right? The, the egg itself has nowhere to go. The air bubble that may or may not be in there has nowhere to go. So it's gonna expand, expand, expand until it cracks or breaks the shell. And then once, it, once the egg shell cracks from all the pressure, almost like a miniature explosion, all the salt water, right? The water that we added salt to is gonna rush in there and basically help to separate the inside of the egg and pull it away from the shell, right? That's what's going on from a scientific standpoint inside the egg. I'm probably not gonna touch these. I'm just gonna let them be as it is. But <clears throat> as you can see, I've got enough water in there to just almost cover, <clears throat> apologies, the entire egg. So I'm going to let these go for six minutes. In my honest opinion, like the perfect ramen egg or the soft boiled egg where the yolk is maybe like just still just a touch like runny, you know, like just barely dripping out the yolk is six minutes. If you want a hard boiled egg, you can go for about 10 minutes uh, and then anywhere between eight minutes or so, somewhere in that eight minute range is where you get like your medium boiled egg, I guess. Uh, but anyways, I'm going to let these go. I don't want to sit here for another three or four minutes. But when these are cooked, I'm going to take these out and put them in a bath of cold water. So let me show you what that looks like. So my bacon. <laughs> so basically then what I'm going to do is take my eggs and put them into a bath of cold water. I didn't have any ice in here or anything. Didn't need it. Uh, but these are some that I had done before. And basically what I'm going to do now is I'm going to, I'm going to take these put them through a colander. At this point, you can be a little rougher with the eggs. And if you notice, you'll see that, see how the, the, the shell has now cracked? So you can, you can see how the shell has now cracked. And the reason why it cracked was because of that explosion, because the, the internal temperature of the egg got so hot that it then cracked. So if I, if I go ahead and crack this now, right? I'm trying to do this with one hand. Basically, you can see now how easy the shell comes off. How awesome is that? See how the shell comes I'm doing this with one hand, by the way. Keep that in mind. But see how easy the shell comes off? And the shell does not stick to the egg. So if I had two hands, I could probably do this a lot easier. But as you can see, the shell just comes right off. And that's how you get the shell not to stick to your egg. So to recap, in no short order, it's boil your water first, then put in your pinch of salt, 
then put in your eggs. After about six minutes, you get the perfect soft boiled egg if that's what you're going for. Take them out of the water. So take them out of the pot, take your eggs out of the pot. Put them into a bath of just regular room temp or cold water. Let them sit for about, I'd say about two minutes. And then strain them out into a colander and then they should be ready to peel. There you go, guys. Cooter Malloy. As always, down in the description of the video, there is a link to my new Facebook page, Cooter Malloy Product Reviews. Make sure to visit that Facebook page if you like what you're seeing and hit that subscribe button. And there's also a bunch of links to a bunch of cool stuff that, I, uh, that I've that i tested before, best bang for the buck items, etc. That's down in the description below as well. Cooter Malloy here. There is a thumbs up button somewhere over here. There should be a subscribe button somewhere over here for YouTube. Like I said, if you like what you're seeing, go ahead and subscribe. And make, please, 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 please make sure to hit that Facebook page and subscribe on there as, as well. Cooter Malloy, and I will catch you guys on the next one.